Hello and welcome to another Sprues and Brews Battle Report. Today the Ultramarines, commanded by Jay, are taking on the Orcs, a new Crusade force I have literally just thrown together with pretty much as many vehicles as I could fit into 50 power. That's the Orc way. It is the Orc way. So we are playing the Ritual. Jay's uh, captain, what's your captain called Jay? Uh, captain Tyvus. Captain Tyvus is mortally wounded. He's he... had a bit of a rough ride really in this crusade so far. So he is actually, he's got a deep wound um, out of action battle scar. Uh, so he is wounded. So uh, in this mission, uh, the aim is to try and get him healed up. Yeah, with the with Crusade being more narrative, what we wanted to do is kind of build a story around what's happening here. So uh, by the mission, there's a, a ritual that needs to be completed over the course of the game. For this, we're going to say that as he's uh, a little bit knackered, he's <laughs> found this really uh, shabby-looking medical facility to try and get himself patched up before they uh, evac off the planet. Unfortunately, while he was doing that, all the orcs turned up. So yeah, we have got a Death Killer War Trike. Gaz Truck Gut Puncher, my warlord, leading his merry mob of uh, orcs to smash things in the face, really. And then we've pretty much got all of the uh, the new buggies that were released with the uh, the previous orc codex. So we've got a booster blaster, a shock jump dragster, uh, that has been pimped out with the upgrade that lets it teleport wherever it likes. We've got a boom deck, a snaz wagon, a scrap jet, a rocker truck, and a bone breaker, and the bone breaker's got the red roller on it as well. So when this thing charges, it's getting plus six attacks, which <laughs> hopefully should break the bones of some uh, unfortunate space marines. Almost as many as a single assault intercessor. <laughs> almost, almost. <laughs> so um, what have we got on the space marine side, Jay? So obviously we've got the uh, wounded um, Primaris Captain Tyvis from the Indomitus set. So he, uh, in this mission, the idea is, is that um, I can perform an action with my warlord each turn. Um, so how much he's actually going to participate in this battle I'm not sure because he's going to be concentrating on healing himself up yeah we've, uh, even though he can do an action we've said that for the purposes of this mission he can do that action yeah, specifically yeah that's it his battle scar sort of stops him from doing that but yeah we've worked around that um, I've got a unit of assault intercessors um, these have been um, combat squatted into two units here on either side um, I've got a unit of um, regular intercessors so these were added to my crusade army um I've had, we've had a couple of games of Crusade now, so I've managed to bring in some reinforcements. Um, and these had a cracking game in their last Crusade against the Death Guard. Uh, so they've actually um, got a battle trait now. They're, they're veterans. They can reroll ones to hit, which is which is pretty cool. So I've combat squatted them in the building. Um, I've got my Primaris Chaplain um, down there um, next to another new recruit, the Redemptor Dreadnought. Uh, so I'm really excited to use this Redemptor Dreadnought. This, the, I think Dreadnoughts are pretty cool in 9th edition now. They're quite yeah. tough to get them onto an objective. I think, and they can shoot in combat as well with that heavy onslaught Gatling cannon. Um, I've got a unit of Eradicators there. I mean, these are like... They're very good. They're, they're a very strong unit on, on a paper. So they've got a central position there. Hopefully be able to blast some Orc vehicles each turn. Um, I've got my Impulsor here. So this was another new recruit. Um, unfortunately this one took a bit of damage in the last game and it has an angered machine spirit Ooh, that sound good. so that stops I think the angered machine spirit means I can't use um, command rerolls or any stratagems on them um, inside the impulsor are the veteran uh, blade guard who they've also leveled up actually in the crusade so they have a six plus feel no pain uh, now so that should make them quite tough Awesome, so uh, quite a levelled up Space Marine force from for, since the original Necrons versus Space Marine yeah. uh, battle report that we did, which I'll link in the description below. So yeah, this is, um, as far as all tactics go, I'm just going to drive forward, shoot Marines and charge Marines, I'm going to be honest. So yeah, it should be an interesting game. I think it may be a short game, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but so, yeah, we're about to roll off to see who gets the first turn. There's a blue one. So for, would, would the Marines like the first turn, Jay? I think the Marines will have the first turn. Um, so it's the uh, start of my first turn. So um, before we get going, I'm just going to declare what agendas we've got. So these, this is um, you, uh, for a battle this size in Crusade, you pick two agendas. 
uh, I've chosen priority target. So basically I keep a tally of all of the vehicles I kill and each unit that kills a vehicle gets uh, two experience points for each vehicle I kill. You look, you're lucky there, Jay, because yeah. there seems to be a couple of vehicles <laughs> in the uh, the Orc army. Uh, that, I think that was a good pick by me. Quite, quite, quite... Uh, Very cunning tactics Cunning there. tactic, yeah. Uh, the second agenda I've chosen is uh, a more narrative one. It's Survivor. So this is on my Warlord. So he has to basically survive the battle. If he does, he'll get a bit of extra XP at the end of the battle, which he deserves if he survives. Start of my first turn, um, in the command phase, uh, I get my command point, so I'm on seven command points now. Uh, my chaplain gets to use his prayers, his litanies, so I'm going to try and uh, he's got the Master of Sanctity upgrade, which lets him use two um, litanies each turn. So he's going to try and use Catechism of Fire, so this goes off on a three plus. It does, so I can pick a Space Marine unit within six inches, they get plus one uh, to hit, I think, so I'm going to use it on the Dreadnought. And then he's going to use the um, recitation of focus. Oh, sorry, that was the plus one to wound. The recitation of focus is the next one. So this is a three plus. So it's gone off as well. Uh, he's also going to use that on the dreadnought, which gives him plus one to hit. Okay, so um, in my movement phase, then the assault intercessor squad here is pushed up uh, with the dreadnought and the primary chaplain in support. So they've got some range weapons in in uh, range there. Uh, and on the other side of the board, uh, these assault intercessors they advanced one inch towards this objective. Yeah, they're very quick. Yeah, everything else is stayed put, trying to keep all of my backfield objectives and put some range firepower down the board. And your captain's heroically doing his action to try and get himself healed well, up. That's right, yeah, he's currently bandaging himself. Okay, so I'm going to start with this um, this intercessor squad here. They're combat squatted, so I'm going to use the first five. They're going to fire at the, um, what's that at the end there? The custom booster blaster. Okay, so they're within range, so they're getting two shots each. Uh, they're hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because of their um, upgrade that they've had. Uh, so that's not too bad, I can re-roll this one. So these are misses. Still a miss. Uh, strength four, so Couple I think they fives. So just one wound there, Matt, for you. Any rend on those? Uh, only minus one. So we've got a five plus save. And he's fine. Okay, not, not so good there from the top squad. So the bottom squad, I'm going to use a Strategium, Rapid Fire, two command points. So this basically makes all their bolt rifles Rapid Fire two now. So they're going to be in the extra shots. So it's going to be 20 shots coming down the board. Uh, hitting on freeze, re-rolling ones. So a couple of ones there to re-roll and a couple of twos. Okay, not bad. Uh, and then still looking for fives to wound you. So I think that's just three, four, four wounds that's there. That's not too bad. It's a lot of firepower from a squad of five. But that's yeah, fine. I'm finding this with Ultramarines. They do get a lot of shots. Yeah, I like that. Uh, what are we on? Just minus one. Minus one. So five to save. Uh, yeah, four wounds. You put it down to half damage. That's pretty good going. Okay, so Brother Agrippa, the Redemptor Dreadnought there, he's uh, going to fire everything at your Scrapjet, is it that? Yeah, the Megatrack Scrapjet. you got to love the Orc names for the rare vehicles. Yeah, they are cool. So this guy gets a lot of shots. He's also plus one to hit and plus one to wound when he's firing at the closest target, which is that, that vehicle there. So I'm going to start off with his big gun, which is his heavy onslaught Gatling cannon, which is 12 shots. So this is hitting on twos now. Nice. A couple of ones in there. Uh, and in it is strength six. So strength six. five, sorry. Okay, so we, he, he'd be wounded on fives, but with the plus one, he'd be wounded on fours. So fours. That's not bad. No, that's okay. Uh, and they, because we're in the Devastated Doctrine, they are AP minus two. Nice, that will give me a six plus save. How much damage do these do? Just one damage. Just one damage. You take a big chunk out of his health. Uh, the Orcs have, yeah, not saved any, so that's four wounds so far on the scrap jet. Uh, so he's going to get eight shots with his Storm Bolter. Uh, again, hitting on twos. A lot of ones there, actually. Uh, and then, um, strip four. Took a six, so five. Five with fours. plus one. So fours. So that's three wounds there. Uh, I don't believe there's any rend on that in AP. Nope. Four plus save. Will another two go through? It's got two wounds left. Two wounds left. Uh, that just leaves him with his Icarus rocket pod, which is D3 shots. So two, two shots, shots hitting it on. This one's hitting on freeze minus one and then plus one. So hitting on freeze. Even though you are a jet engine, aren't you? So technically yeah. you do fly. <laughs> so it's hit. It's strength um, seven. Threes. Plus twos. one. So twos. 
So two wounds, and that is at AP minus two because of the uh, Devastated Doctrine. Need to save one of these to, uh, how much damage do they do? These do two damage each. We need to save both of these for it to survive. Nope, it is a goner. Does it explode? Nope, it does not. So now I'm gonna fire the Eradicators into your... The Shock Jump Trankster. Yeah. Which is probably my favorite one of these vehicles from Lux. I, I mean, it does look cool. I like all the old things. The new vehicles are brilliant. Yeah, really I think cool. I like the Squig one. Uh, so these are hitting you on three. So these get the total obliteration rule. So they get to fire twice if they shoot at the same unit, which they're gonna. So six of uh, these Melter shots into that buggy. So they're hitting on threes. Oh, phew, you rode a lot of ones today. Um, yeah. Uh, strength eight. Uh, to the six, so threes. Ooh. So only two got through. They are AP minus four, though. So that goes through my armor. Uh, they do D6 damage each. 11 damage. Yep, that's enough to destroy it. Does it explode? Nope, oh. it does not. Okay, so uh, quite happy with the shooting phase there. Uh, in my assault phase, I'm not going to declare any charges. I think I'm out of range, actually, charges. I have a feeling I won't have to wait very long for a bit of a fight anyway. Yeah, the, the fight will be coming to you, Jay. <laughs> Uh, so then at the end of my turn then I just get 10 victory points there for my uh, warlord that completed the ritual, the action this turn. Cool, so that puts us on 10 now at the end of your turn one. So on to the orc turn one command phase. Not a lot to do here, I get one command point and yeah, we'll then move on to the movement phase and see what we can do to all these space marines. Okay, so no surprises to anyone. The orc movement phase, I just, just ran up the board. I um, there, was, there was a moment when I was trying to look up the rules for my um, war trike, being able to let people advance and charge until I realized, hey, you, you're close enough anyway. <laughs> I really don't need to advance. So yeah, they've all moved up, ready to shoot some space marines in the face in the shooting phase. Okay, so into the shooting phase, we're gonna start with the, the um, custom booster blaster. And I'm actually going to use one of the new stratagems out of the Psychic Awakening book, The Burning Highway. 1 CP, it basically turns its flamers into super flamers. So rather than getting D3 auto hits each, they get 3 auto hits and it makes it strength 5 AP minus 1 to hopefully thin out some of these uh, space marines. The big rivet gun though is going to go into the dreadnought to try and take some wounds off that. Okay, so uh, yep, so I'm going to use uh, a strategy myself. Uh, you've chosen the dreadnought as a target, so I'm going to use. Uh, one command point for duty eternal it basically reduces the damage by one so all the attacks that come through it will reduce the damage by one on him so we're going to unleash the, uh, the the flamer into the space marine so it's really handy that it's uh, 12 auto hits now rather than 4d3 which is really useful strength five against toughness four of the marines let's see if we can wound these guys on threes and that's not bad at all that's very good so that is what's that eight saves to make it minus one okay so uh, four pluses for this in their power armor. So one dead space marine and one on a wound. Okay, so next we'll fire the uh, the stick bomb into the same unit. It's a grenade, it gets D6 hits. Unfortunately, not a big squad, so we don't get to use the new blast. We haven't used the new blast rules in any of our games yet. Combat squads for the win. I know, so D6 uh, shots, five oh, shots. That's good. Hit on fives because they're orcs. That's not bad for orcs. <laughs> uh, this is only strength three, I think strength three, so five to wound you. Yeah. yeah, he's wounded. Uh, no AP. Free ball save. So yeah, and then finally the rivet cannon is going to go into the, the dreadnought. So we get six shots with this, hitting on fives. And that's not bad shooting. Wow. I've got a six, so I can use the daka 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 roll to take another shot. And that has also hit. So four shots, uh, strength seven, toughness seven for the red belt. That's right. So he is wounding on fours. Any sixes do a mortal wound to in addition. So that is one mortal wound and then two saves to make. Okay. Um, right, so I will activate my strategium now uh, for one command point. So it takes me down to three. This basically gives me a three plus uh, feel no pain save against um, all wounds I take. Um, so I will try and save that mortal wound. I don't, so I've taken one damage. And then it's uh, two. Two saves at minus two. So this is five pluses. So I've saved one. So there'd normally be two damage, but you actually half that with your strategy from uh, earlier. Not half it, reduce it by one. Okay. So just one damage, and I'll try and save it on a five plus with my feel of pain. Nope, so that's two damage this turn from the shooting. 
Okay, so next we're going to go with the Rooker Truck Squig Buggy. It's going to fire everything into those Space Marines in front of it because I want those thinned out. And it's going to fire bitey squigs as well because they've got two damage <laughs> and minus three AP. So hopefully chew through some uh, Astarte power armor. So we'll go with the bitey squigs first. These are hitting on fives. No hits whatsoever from there. It's got a shotgun. Uh, fives for the shotgun. Yeah, daka daka daka. Uh, three hits from the shotgun. It is strength four at a uh, short range, which it definitely is. So that's wounding on fours. And that is two wounds. Uh, shotgun is no AP. Three pluses. Ooh, shotgun goes through. So it's also got the stick squig as well. This is another grenade. D6 shots. Three shots. Hitting on fives. And again, daka daka daka. I forgot how fun daka 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 yeah. is when you start racking up hits. Uh, and this is wounds on a five, which is rubbish. Nothing. Okay, so the Death Killer War is going to go next. And he was umming and ahhing about shooting that dreadnought, but you know, it's not very orky to, to kill a big hunking war machine with shooting. You want to punch it in the face. So he's going to fire all his weapons into the Space Marine. His uh, vehicle is tricked out with Gork's Roar, which is a kind of buffed version of its killer jet. So it is Assault 6 and it also hits. So 6 hits on it. Uh, it is Strength 5 against Toughness 4 for the Marines. So wounding on 3s. And that is fairly atrocious. <laughs> so we're at two wounds at minus one. Minus one, so four pluses. At least he kills one. He's redeemed himself a little bit. Another dead marine. He's then going to use this snagger claw because his claw has got a gun installed on it. Because, you know, why not? This is hitting on a five. He is not hit. And then he's got a twin boomstick. He's hitting on four plus with this. Four plus for an orc. Daka, daka, daka. No, nothing there. So two hits, this is also strength five, so three is to wound. That is one wound, no rend. And a three plus armor. No nope. wound. Okay, so the Boom Dacker Snaz Wagon, which has possibly got the best name of a unit in 40k, is gonna fire all its guns into the eradicators inside the building, because I don't like them, because they can pretty much blow up a truck every turn and uh, I've not got many left. So first of all, it's gonna fire its big shooter. This is Assault 3, hitting on fives. Nothing. We've got a Grot Blaster, which is a pistol. I think it gets plus one to hit with that, it does. So that is hitting on fours. It is hit. It is strength three, so five to wound. Uh, it's a wound, no AP. So you get, what, a two plus yeah. save in there? Three, three plus, does it ignore cover, that one? That one doesn't ignore cover. So two plus, so I'm okay. Nope, that's fine. The Grot hasn't killed you. Then we've got the Mech Special, which is that big daiquiri looking gun on the top of it. This thing's pretty tasty. Uh, hitting on fives. Need some sixes here. Oh, that's really good actually. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we've got a six for Daka Daka Daka. This is strength five. Uh, toughness five. So four plus. And Gravis armor. Uh, less good there, less good there. We're not going to reroll any of those though because that seems silly. And it is minus two AP. So four plus now. Mm -hmm. Yep, that is one damage. One damage. And then finally, it's going to throw some Molotov cocktails at them because that seems like a fair thing to do. So this is uh, 2d6 hits. It's eight, eight shots. Still need to roll to hit on fives. Uh, that again is less good. That is one. It is strength uh, four, toughness five. Yep. So five plus a wound, nothing. Okay, so the Bone Breaker is going to have to try and take some more wounds off those Eradicators because I really don't want those things shooting me next turn. So it's going to fire all of its guns at them. And um, I was speaking to Jay, I thought, oh, hitting on sixes, that's not so good. But in ninth edition, there is no penalty to firing heavy weapons if you're a vehicle, which is really good. So yeah, The uh, only penalty you've got is that you're an orc. Well, yeah, I can't, I can't <laughs> hit anyway, but, you know, enthusiasm and bucketfuls of dice, a few might get through. So it's going to start with a big one first, the Kill Cannon. It gets d6 uh, shots, and I am going to use a command point to reroll that. It's got more shots. <laughs> Win. And this is hit on fives, three sixes. That's not any sixes. Oh dear. So he's not hit there. He also has four big shooters. So this is where we get a volume of shots. Again, hitting on fives. That is not many fives, but there's a few, there's a few. And these are strength fives, so that will be wounding you on fours. Yeah, toughness five and gravis. That is two wounds, no rent. So two plus save in the ruins. Yeah. Oh, pink, Just. Pinking off that armor. Um, and it has got a heavy lobber as well. So he has D6 shots. 
One shot, brilliant. Uh, hit number five. It's hit. It's hit. I get the impression these orcs want to just fight rather than shoot. They do, they do. Uh, it's straight five to four plus, and it is AP, no AP, just one damage. So two plus, poof, just. <laughs> yeah, they're just, they're just, you know, egging him on. They want him to fight. <laughs> okay, so onto the charge phase, and again, no surprises, the entirety of the orc army is charging. So we're going to shoot, uh, charge the chaplain. That's probably my furthest charge. Yeah, it it's about four or five inches, so I think you need four, maybe. I do get a bonus to this with being uh, evil funds, but uh, yeah. He's, he's in. Comfortably in. Right. Uh, this guy's going to charge the intercessors. Yeah, he is again easily Nine. in. As is the warlord. Yep, he's laughing. Excellent. Um, the bone break is going to go in against the intercessors. Yeah, I saw that too. I was a bit worried then. <laughs> he's going in there, and this is going to charge into them. Yeah, that is the entire orc army in combat. Okay, so it's going to have to be the massive death roller of doom that's going first. Since it's got the red roller, it gets plus six attacks on the charge, giving it a fairly mental 12 attacks. With the roller, it's also hitting on threes, so uh, it should be pretty good. I don't get daka 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 for this, though, so uh, thankfully no bonus hits. And yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so this is strength nine against toughness four. Yep. Uh, so twos. And yeah, that is everything wounded. This is AP minus two and two damage each. So we're looking for fives. So I've saved two. That is, oh, three, I saved three. Save four? It's four dead assault marines. That's, uh, that's pretty scary. Yep, so we'll go with the boom dacker snaz wagon next. Uh, this is hitting on four, so it's not quite as good as the massive lump of metal that <laughs> crushed you other guys. Uh, and he's not done amazingly well there. It's strength five, so it's wounds you on threes. Uh, that is two wounds, no AP. Uh, three plus armor. He's okay. So we're going to go with the Death Killer War Trike, my warlord next, to uh, wipe the smile off the faces mm -hmm. of these space marines. So uh, he's got five attacks hitting on twos. And he still rolled two ones there. <laughs> um, he is, however, strength seven and he re rolls wounds. So, what's that? Three to wound with a re roll? I think he should comfortably do, yeah. That is minus two AP. Minus two, so looking for fives. One. One, and they are D3 damage each. So, the first one, one's wounded, so he's dead, isn't he? Yeah. And then the second one hopefully kills the other marine. It doesn't, it's just one wound. Okay, so the Rocker Truck Squig Buggy is attacking next. It has got four attacks and it's hitting on fours. Uh, it's only hit once. And this is strength six, so wounding on threes. And that has wounded AP minus one. Uh, four plus save. Ah, oh, he's tanked it. Marine survives. He's, he's, he's loving his life. Uh, and then finally, we'll go in with the final model against the chaplain. The, uh, the, the buggy actually has a spiked ram on the front of it. So on a four plus, you suffer D3 mortal wounds. Which is pretty cool. It does not though. <laughs> I was sweating then. Uh, he's hit on fours. He's, uh, the orcs have, have lacked a bit of enthusiasm in the combat this time. I was going to say, they've got the enthusiasm, but they're not backing it up just they're yet. Not, they're not, they're uh, not. It's strength five, so three is to wound you. So that's one wound, no AP. Uh, so just on his three plus armor save, he's yep, okay. He's fine. Okay, so this is Sergeant Abraxas here of the uh, Assault Intercessors. His squad's been decimated by that battle wagon. He's going to fight back against your... Is that the uh, Snaz wagon, is it? Or? It's the... It's, it's, a, it's a buggy of some description. It's a buggy with lots of guns on it. So he gets five attacks, believe it or not. This is Chainsaw, Shock Assault. This is brilliant. It's crazy. Uh, so he's hitting on freeze. Ooh. <laughs> he's obviously a little bit shaken by the fact that all his mates just got ran over. Understandable. Uh, strength four. Toughness uh, six. So we done fives. He's a five. He's, well, done, he's it. done it. He's done it. Uh, one AP on that? Uh, AP minus one, yeah. So I believe that's a five plus save. And that's a one. He has not made it. Okay, so the last remaining intercessor on this side of the board, he's going to make his attacks against your Rucker Truck Squig Buggy. Uh, he gets four attacks with his chainsaw, so he's hitting on threes. I believe he's re-rolling ones to hit, because I think the aura is back in effect for the captain. It's only when he's doing his action he can't do yeah. his aura. So he can re-roll his one to hit. So it's four hits. Strength four, and he's five. Yeah. Uh, not bad. That's not bad going one at all. minus one. So five plus save. Yeah, he's made it. He's fine. 
Okay, so that just leaves my chap lane to attack now. So he's going to attack the custom booster blaster. He gets four attacks base plus one for his shock assault. So he's hitting on twos. So all hit. He's strength five with his Crozius. So he still needs five to win. It's six. Fives. Oh, I'll take that. That's Two. Good. At AP minus one. So that gives me a 5 plus save. Oh, he's made one of them. How much damage does that do? Two damage. He's got two wounds left. So before we get to the end of my turn one, we just need to do a morale check for this guy. The other squad's in range of the chaplain, so he's essentially leadership 10, so he can't fail. Yeah, leadership 10 is an ultramarine. This guy, however, can fail it on a 6. Yeah, so he's leadership 8 normally, plus 1 for being ultramarine. Oh, let me... It was a 6, believe it or not. But you do get to reroll that being a space marine? Yes. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, he's, he's had enough of this <laughs> massive battle wagon. Sergeant Abraxas is running away. So at the end of the turn, uh, the Orcs have been pretty aggressive there, moved up. We've taken out a lot of intercessors, which is good. But uh, yeah, conscious of the fact that Jay's got some scary stuff going into his turn two. Okay, so start of the Ultramarines turn two. Uh, I get one command point, which takes me to four. Uh, looking at the victory points, I control two objective markers here at the back, so that gives me um, 10 victory points. Puts me on 20 so far. Cool, and then your command phase, you've just got your litanies, I guess. That's right, yeah. Them. So my chap lane, he's going to use his litany of hate. So on a free plus, um, every uh, Ultramarine unit within six inches can reroll hits in combat, so it goes off. Brilliant. Cool. Uh, and then the chaplain is also going to try and use his um, Catechism of Fire on the Dreadnought there, so the plus one to wound, that's gone off as well. Okay, so my chaplain, he's not run away, he's just strategically moved, fallen back onto the objective. Of course, yeah. Ultramarines are quite unique in Ninth Edition, that they're one of the few armies that can fall back and still fire. And his pistol's pretty tasty, isn't it? Yeah, it was all strength five, damage two, I believe. Could finish off this vehicle. Yep. Um, the Assault Marine of Squad Abraxas, the last remaining surviving member, he's fell back through the ruins to sort of, of course. Yeah, just to stand next to his wounded Primaris captain, who will be performing the action this turn to try and get a few more victory points. Um, and then on this side of the table, my veteran squad has jumped out of the Impulsor, ready to heroically charge into those old vehicles there. Now that is actually fairly heroic. I think so. <laughs> Okay, so my chaplain, being an Ultramarine, can fall back and fire at minus one. So he's going to lob a crack grenade at that buggy there. Um, so his blister skill is three plus, so he's hitting on a four. He's missed. So my uh, intercessor squad here, they're going to the top squad is going to fire at um, this vehicle there. Custom boost blaster. The custom boost blaster is already severely wounded. It is. So they get ten shots there because they've stayed still. Uh, they're hitting on threes, re-rolling ones with their um, battle train. So. A lot of twos there. A couple of misses and a one to re-roll. Another one. Uh, strength four. Toughness six. So they need fives. Uh, so that is three at minus two now in the tactical doctrine. Yeah, this this could be what um, helps you kill some of these vehicles here. So it's only a six plus save and I need to make two of them to stay alive. No. Does he blow up though? This is the key question. I hope he does. No, he doesn't. Um, the second half of the Intercessor Squad, so the second combat squad, uh, they're going to shoot at the uh, Squig buggy, is it there? Yeah. Um, because of the Dreadnoughts down the way, only two of them can actually draw a line of sight to that. Uh, Luckily, buggy. they've got a lot of shots, though, haven't they? Yeah, well, they get two shots each, so they're hitting on threes, re rolling ones. And they're wounding you on fives. So That's pretty good. Two wounds at minus one. Minus two. Minus two, sorry, yeah, tactical doctrine. And that is two wounds that go through. Okay, so uh, Brother Agrippa is going to unload with everything at the squig buggy there. Um, we're in the tactical doctrine now, so his heavy weapons aren't going to be as effective. However, he does have the um, one of the litanies that gives him plus one to wound against the closest mm. target. So with his heavy onslaught Gatling cannon, he's looking for freeze to hit. Not bad. Uh, strength five. Uh, Took six. So it will be five yes. to wound, plus one. Yep, fours. That's really good. So that's okay. So that is uh, four at minus one. Four at minus one. Uh, so that's a five plus save for the rocket truck. Uh, no, go, how much damage is that? Just one damage each. So it's got two wounds left. Two wounds left. Uh, next up are his two storm bolters. So it's eight shots here, hitting on threes. Uh, strength four. So we'll need fives, but obviously plus one to win. So fours. Makes him very good at cracking this armour, doesn't it? Yeah, so uh, just no AP on that one though, Matt. So, four plus save. 
Another one goes through, he's got a single wound left. Single wound left, okay. Can he finish him off? He's got two weapons left to fire with. So he's got his Icarus Heavy um, missile pod on top there, so this gets D3 shots. Two shots. It's hitting on fours, this one. Only one hit. It is strength need. seven, though. Three plus. Plus one. So two twos. Plus. Not done oh. it. Uh, and it's just his Heavy Flamer now, so D6 shots. Two shots. Uh, this is strength five. Uh, five, so fours. With plus one. So freeze. No, it's fives, it's fours with a plus one. Ah, fours, okay, so that's two wounds. I think that's AP minus one, Matt. Yeah, AP minus one. So five plus to save this, oh, he's dead. Uh, oh, he saves one. Oh, do you use a command do point? Do I use a command point? It seems a bit of a waste using a command point when you could be killing better stuff. No, let's see if he explodes. <laughs> no, something will explode this game. The last remaining member uh, of the Assault Intercessor squad there is gonna throw a crack grenade at the uh, Warlord who's now the closest unit. He's fell back, but being Ultramine, he can still fire at minus one, so he's hitting on a four. He's hit. It is strength six. Toughness six. So four. Not done it. Uh, next fire will be the Eradicators, using total obliteration at that massive red battle wagon coming straight at them. Um, so I mean, if, if they miss, it's a pretty big target to miss, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they roll, they roll a lot of misses, actually, these guys do. So they get twice the shots here, so six, six shots. Hitting on threes. Ooh. Like that, they missed half of them. Uh, strength eight. Uh, toughness eight. So fours. So it's three wounds, and if you're in half range, Matt, which I think you are, it's AP minus four. Yep, that goes through the armor. And then it's 2d6, and I choose the highest for damage. So that's five points yep. of damage there. Another five, ten. It's got six wounds left. Three. Ooh, three wounds left on the battle wagon. Okay, the Blagar veterans, they're gonna fire their heavy bolt pistols at the snaz wagon there. Uh, so they get three shots, hit on threes. That's three hits, shrimp four. Two and a six. So five, two wounds so at minus pretty well one. With this, haven't they? Yeah, they're, they're wounded. So we uh, save five plus. No, two more wounds through. Just one damage each. Uh, last note, but not least, uh, the Impulsor is going to fire all of its weapons at the battle wagon there. I'll see if I can just take these last few wounds off. Uh, so, Stormbolt first, eight shots, needs freeze to hit. <laughs> Ooh, he's not doing great there, is he? I don't think he's going to take these last few wounds off. Uh, strength four, so sixes. Yeah. Oh, one wound got through. Uh, no AP on that map. No AP, okay. Well, he goes through, oh, wow. two wounds left. Uh, and then uh, last it's his um, heavy iron hail stubber on top there, so it's heavy freeze, so three shots on freeze. Mm. Only one hit, strength four as well. So sixes. No, nothing there. Okay, so I'm gonna declare a charge of my dreadnought first. Brother Agrippa against your warlord. Bring it. So he's not very far there, so. Yep, I think he's got that. I'm gonna move him right around here. Okay, the Blagar veterans, they're gonna charge both of these vehicles here. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna have to try and do an overwatch with the tank to try and take some wounds off these blade <laughs> guards because, oh, it's just like rolling dice. Can you shoot with a death roller? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, not with a death roller, but it's got enough gun strapped to it. So he gets D6 shots with the big kill cannon. One shot. I'm not gonna use a command point on that. Hits on a six. Oh, daka, daka, daka. daka, daka. Oh, okay, this could go better than I thought it would. Uh, what are you talking us for? Talking us for. We've done twos. Oh, I've got a one. Uh, that is AP minus two and two damage. Okay, so I need my four plus uh, storm shield save here. No, oh, no. So two damage. So then it's going to fire with its big shooters. Again, we're looking for sixes, and luckily any sixes are dapper dapper as well. So yeah, one hit with them. These are just strength five, so threes to wound you, which is done. Uh, no AP on that. No AP. He's okay. And then finally, we've got the, the lobber. Gets D6 shots. Three shots. And this is, again, hitting on six. Because they were watching. Nothing there. Oh, man. Right. That was good then. So they better make the charge now. <laughs> <laughs> so they're looking for a seven to get into combat with both those units there. Oh. oh they're going to have to try and reroll this. It takes me to three command points. Oh, it's just. just. So I'm gonna split my attacks here. We're gonna have one Blade Guard veteran fight the battle wagon and the sergeant and the other veteran fight the um, snaz wagon there. 
Uh, so we'll do the normal veteran against the uh, battle wagon. Three attacks normal, plus one for shock assault. Hitting on threes. Three got through. Strength five with their mastercraft. Took us eight. So still need fives. Oh, one we'll got go through. through. AP minus three. So that goes through my armor. So two damage. So yeah, it is destroyed. Does it explode? <laughs> um, six on a six, it explodes. Come on, explode. Oh, it doesn't explode. Okay, and then it's the remaining squad on the uh, the wagon there. So nine attacks from those two guys. Hit on threes. Pretty good. Uh, wind on fives, I think. Strength five. Yeah, six. wind on fives. So, yeah, that's very good. That's all right. Four got through at minus three. Yeah, that, that just kills him outright. Eight damage, yeah. But, but, does it explode? This is the most important question. It does not explode. No. Okay, so it's it's just the Warlord left, and he's not going down without a fight, so I'm going to spend my last two CP to interrupt with him. It's got to be done. Makes sense. Uh, he, th there's a good chance he could kill this thing. So. There's 11 wounds left on the Redemptor, yeah. So he has five attacks, he's hitting on twos. There's a one, and that's four. We can still do it, we can still do it, and just... He's only strength seven against toughness seven, so he is wounding you on fours. That is three wounds at minus two. Three wounds at minus two, so it takes him down to his five plus save. He saves one of them. Save one. That is 2d3 damage. That is two damage. Brother Agrippa is furious. <laughs> furious. He's going to attack the uh, Warlord now. He gets five attacks with the Shock Assault. Uh, hitting on threes. Ooh. Oh, no. Ooh, we could leave, live to, <laughs> to, 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 you know, rue the day. He, uh... For him. Uh, strength 14 though. Yeah, that's twos. Oh no, look at that. <laughs> so that one is what, AP minus lots? AP minus three. So it goes through his armor. D6 damage. Three he damage. Really? He has got five wounds left. He lives. <laughs> okay, so at the end of the turn there, um, I have completed my action on my Warlord, which gives me another 10 victory points, which puts me on 30 victory points so far. So going into Orc turn 2, there's not a lot left of the Orc <laughs> army, uh, but they've had a whale of a time. Orcs love this kind of stuff, driving into the face of Space Marines and dying heroically. So again, 10 command points, and you know what? We're going to go straight into the shooting phase because I'm going to try and blow up that Dreadnought. Okay, so we're going to use the Cutter. This is hitting on five, so we need, we need two sixes here, ideally. That is one six, so with Daka Daka Daka, we will re-roll this. They get another shot even. Oh, just one hit. Strength eight, so we're wounding on threes. Now, if you can wound it, you can do a bit of damage here. That is a five, so that is AP minus four. What? No save for me then. So two d six and pick the best. That is a two. <laughs> you get it? Can I'm you gonna use point? a? I'm, oh, I don't think I can't. I can command point damage. I can command point damage. Yeah, I think you roll them both as well. I think. But if not, they're both a four. So that is four damage from the uh, the gun. So like, it leaves me with five wounds left. Okay, don't think I can do five wounds to you, but I can certainly scratch you. So you're going to use the uh, the claw, so hitting on a five, it has hit, and that is wounding on a five, which is also wounded. That is no AP. Uh, so three plus save, he's done that. And then finally, he's going to shoot you with a shotgun. This is hitting on a fours. Amazing shooting for an orc there. <laughs> and um, wounding you on fives. And that is one more wound from the shotgun, no AP though. Uh, three plus save. That's okay. So unfortunately, um, he didn't do quite enough damage. A bit of an last ditch gambit there. If I'd have managed to do enough damage to the Dreadnought to blow it up, if both of those um, melter hits had gone in, I could have then sped round with a long charge to potentially take on the general. Alas, it wasn't the case. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see if he survives against the Dreadnought, because if he does, he is definitely punching you in the face. Yeah, so that's right, isn't it? This is another ninth edition uh, quirk, this isn't it, where the person whose turn it isn't fights first. Yeah, and I like that. It, it adds another element to the game, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, so the Dreadnought only gets four attacks this turn, and he's hitting now on a four plus, because of his uh, bracket. Only hit one. once. Uh, strength. Lots though, so he's winning on the two. He's done it. AP minus four. Yep, that goes through. AP minus three, sorry. Not oh, AP minus three. three. Yep. Uh, that also goes through. Oh, right, okay. Uh, D6 damage. Only two. Two damage, so he's got three wounds left. Has he got any other attacks? Uh, no, that's it. 
Right, let's see if he can at least take down this Dreadnought because, uh, yeah, that would be fitting. So he gets five attacks. He is hitting on twos. If I roll five ones now, <laughs> I'm hitting Warhammer. That's pretty good. I'll take that. That's all right. You needed that on your shooting. I did need that. So he's strength uh, seven, so four to wound you. And he's done one. One lone wound on you. AP minus two. Uh, so fives. Nope. nope. And that does D3 damage. Two damage. So at the end of the autumn, not a lot happened there. I'm a bit disappointed he didn't manage to kill the uh, the Dreadnought. But you know. He gave it a good shot. He, he did give it a good shot. So uh, no points there. On to Jay's turn three. Well, I have a small suspicion that Jay may win the game <laughs> on this turn. So uh, yeah, move to Jay's command phase. Okay, so start of my turn, uh, in my command phase, I get an extra command point. Um, I also um, i am going to use the litanies on the chaplain, so he's going to use his uh, litanies of hate first, which lets uh, a unit from 6 inches reroll hits in combat. He doesn't go off, uh, and then he's going to use the litany which uh, allows a, a pick a unit within 6 inches to get plus 1 to wound when they're shooting the closest unit. That also doesn't go off. Um, and then... It, the end of my command phase, I have now got one, two, three objectives, which gives me 20 victory points. 10 for having two or more, and 10 for having more than you, which puts me on 50 victory points. Nice. Okay, so uh, in my movement phase, I've basically moved everything I can closer to your warlord to try and take him down. I think he might be going down this turn. This is the great thing about ninth dreadnoughts now i love them i think they're brilliant you can fire into combat i mean all of you of course can but dreadnoughts are built for this sort of thing it's going to fire all his shots into the um warlord there because he's got oh no the litany didn't go off did it no, didn't get any litany off so he's going to be hitting fours normally minus one for um being in combat so fives with his assault cannon well, that's pretty good that's Shimmy, not... i'm gonna deck it down my days wow look at that i think that's the most sixes i've ever rolled <laughs> uh strength five uh took a six it's only fives only one, uh, two got through there, Matt, at minus one. Minus one. How much damage do these do? Just one damage. Just one, okay. So we've got a five plus save. He saves one of them, so he's got two wounds left. Two wounds left, okay. Uh, Storm Bolter's next. Okay. Uh, eight shots, hitting on fives as well. Look at that, look at that, that's not bad. <laughs> Strength four, this one, though, so fives again. He's really angry. Two sixes, I've got loads of sixes. Uh, no AP on that. Four plus save, he could do it here, Jay. He's got one wound left. One wound left. And saving the best, best to last, a heavy flamer. This is the weapon you use to kill orcs with. Uh, D6 shots. One, One shot. shot, that's all he needs. <laughs> Strength five, so he needs He's a, saving fuel. a five. Oh no. <laughs> you know what, I'm going to use a command point on this. <laughs> you command point the flamer. <laughs> Come on, flamer. Five. No. Nope. <laughs> okay, so charge phase. The chaplain's going in and the blade guard veterans are going in. So we'll start the chaplain first. He can't fail this. Yep, he's in. And then the blade guard veterans, they need two or something. Yep, yeah, they're in. Poor, poor orc. This orc is surrounded. So my primary chaplain's going first. He gets five attacks on the charge with shock assault. Hitting on twos. He's strength five. So he's five to wound. Five to wound. Ooh. Only one, AP minus one. AP minus one gives me a five plus save, or he is dead. And the orc goes down. Though, no. does it explode? Oh, no. <laughs> No, oh. that's it. You need to load these vehicles with uh, fuel next time. And so when the dust was settled, there's there's not a lot left of the Orc army. Uh, the Space Marines have, well, at the end of turn two, are on 60 points. Now, technically, we keep playing until turn five, so you very easily got the clean sweep for points here. Yeah, that's it. I completed my action with Warlord, which gave me the extra 10. So, yeah, 60. Uh, but the most important thing, it was a fun game. It was what? not often you get to use an army of entirely vehicles. And in match play, you'd have no chance... In Crusade is a bit of fun. I'm going to keep my vehicle-based orc army. Maybe add some trucks full of boys for objective holding purposes. Well, we get to find out what sort of out-of-action tests for them now, which is, yeah. which is the fun bit. <laughs> so, yeah, well, this is it. There's a lot of orc vehicles that could potentially die horrifically here. So we'll be back with the, uh, the out-of-actions. Okay, so the mechs in Scrap Town are going to have a lot of uh, <laughs> pickings here to, to build some new vehicles for next time, I think. But, uh, yeah, as we're playing Crusade, we need to see if anything bad has happened to my uh, my entire army. So we'll start with the battle wagon on a one. It, uh, nope. We'll go with the shock jump dragster. Nope. The uh, the plane thing. Nope. The boom dacker snaz wagon. Nope. The rucker truck squig buggy. 
Yes, so that has had an injury. So we have rolled on the vehicle chart a two. Uh, targets, target is cracked. You must re-roll hit rolls of six when resolving attacks made by a vehicle in this unit. Excellent, well that's going to be really good for an orc army. Uh, we've got the custom booster blaster. Is fine, and then my general who's been crushed by a dreadnought. He is fine. That's not bad. No. I've, I'm hitting on five, re-rolling sixes for my yeah. uh, squig buggy. But uh, bar that, I don't think I've got off too badly there, considering the army was wiped out. The space mice, however, may have a couple of characters levelled up. Okay, so um, for winning this uh, mission, um, ordinarily you would get to pick a well, roll randomly on the battle traits for the warlord. However. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna play this one. He's managed to heal himself on this uh, ramshackle medic bay thing. Yeah, we thought from a narrative point of view, it kind of made sense that he's been desperately trying to heal himself while the orcs were running around outside. So yeah, he has now healed all his wounds, which is cool. Yeah, he had a deep deep wound. He had uh, so we're gonna scrub that off his uh, crusade card now, which is great. Um, I've tallied up all of the kills and experience points that my army got in this battle. So there was quite a lot to give out because obviously my priority target agenda gave me two uh, extra experience for every vehicle I killed. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, what we've got in front of us are the two units that managed to level up. Uh, the Redemptor Dreadnought with the help of the Mark for Greatness, which gave him an extra three uh, experience points, means he's gone up a rank. And also um, the um, primary Captain there. Cool. So we'll roll for the Primaris Captain first. Um, he gets a six. That is a six. Uh, tactical experience. Uh, basically, you roll a d6 whenever anyone, when you spend a CP, on a six you regain one CP. So that's oh, pretty cool. That's pretty good, yeah. Uh, and the Dreadnought on the vehicle chart gets a one. And that is enhanced engines, plus two movement, add one to advance and charge. That's very good. Yeah, that's good. Cool, so yeah, that was another Crusade game. We are going to be continuing these these various armies that we've got through a bit of a narrative arc that we're going to write up. Um, what are your thoughts on Crusade, Jay? I, I've really enjoyed it, even though that was a complete spanking to the Orcs. I did enjoy uh, <laughs> just rolling lots of dice. I mean, that's it. In, I mean, you basically just started your Crusade army there, So, and my Ultramarines now, that was their fourth game. Um, if that had been a match play game, I don't think you would have enjoyed that so much. Not so much. Um, but with it being a crusade game, I mean, I really enjoyed it, even though, I mean, despite the fact I won, I still thought it was quite an enjoyable game. It's quite fun building the stories about what was going on. Yeah, I liked the, the narrative side of it. So, yeah, definitely look forward to playing more of these. Yeah, that's it. And I mean, your army's just now, you can, you can look at what experience you've got. A few more crusade games under your belt, they might start becoming a bit more brutal in the, in the battles. Yeah, I think we definitely need to get an unrunnable save on that general. Yeah, definitely. When he levels up. <laughs> so yeah, until next time, see you later and hope you enjoyed this battle.